Hey everybody, it's me again, Moody Boo, aka a Vapist Wit. <clears throat> and I'm back with a Zample Box unboxing, the last one of the year. Now, sorry, my dogs are having a heyday out there. So, anyway, this is what it comes in, and I've got the cheapest subscription, which is like 25 bucks, and you get 60. Uh, mills to a hundred mills, I want to say. Ooh, ah! So, anyway, sorry. Huh. I freak out easily. So, and then I just toss it over. So, anyway, this is what you get. You know, it always comes wrapped really nicely. Holy moly. And this is the first I've seen it. I uh, cut open so I wouldn't have to have a knife on camera again because I know I'm very scary when I'm armed. So, um, Anyway, this time I got six bottles. I think last time I got five. And these all look like they're 15 ml bottles too. So the other one that uh, I'll be doing a review here on as well is going to be uh, Craft Vapory, which I am also a subscriber of. I subscribe to a bunch of them because I live in Washington State and I am stocking up. And anybody else who vapes that lives in Washington needs to stock up on their gear and their juice and their coils and anything else that could be construed as tobacco products what the so they're going to tax it like 75 to 95 percent i think they're just pissed off because everybody quit smoking it'll be five years june 26 that i have quit smoking and i'm exceptionally proud of that so anyway this is sample box unboxing and i'm just going to show you some of them i'm not going to try them or anything i'm going to sniff them um but i like to let them even though they say at sample box you don't have to let them steep i like doing that anyway for at least a week maybe two i kind of sniff them every few days to see how the flavor is doing because i also have a perfume review channel moody boo reviews and so i'm big into sniffing things <laughs> so the first one ooh, clouds over seattle and this is called fremont troll <laughs> i love that name Ooh, that smells good It definitely smells like a dessert vape. And that was one of my choices was I like dessert and sweet vapes and baked goods and and like tree fruit and berries. And I hate, hate, hate menthol or mint in any of my juices. Um, I'm, I don't care for tobacco. Every once in a while I like a good sweet tobacco vape like a black honey tobacco from... Uh, vapor Lounge, that one's pretty good. I do like that one. And every once in a while there will be another sweet tobacco vape that I get a sample of and, and I like it. I don't know if I like it enough to spring for it because I'm really into the dessert vapes, especially the creamy milk vapes. Imperial Milk by Drip Tonic. Uh, uh, milk Plus by Bonsai. Um, Gambit by Five Ponds. Those are probably my top three. There's there's more there. Pumpkin Pie by Mount Baker Vapor, which is seasonal, is divine, especially after it steeps for a couple of weeks. And uh, <clears throat> um, what else do I like? I like lots of things. Um, oh, I love Suck My Mods, uh, Crazy Girl Eyes. I love that one. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm really into the sweet, creamy dessert vapes. And I think that clouds over Seattle uh, Fremont Troll is going to be a good one. I'm going to sniff it again. Why? Because I can. Oh yeah. Definitely smells like baked goods. Um, there's some vanilla in there. and It smells like there's some crusty notes. Not crusty. I mean crust notes. And this one's called Relevant. And it's by Backstop. Or it's Backstop and it's by Relevant. I have no idea which is which. <laughs> I'll find out later. And this one I've never heard of. So let's see what it smells like. Ooh. This is like a fruity, sweet fruity vape. Almost has a peach kind of note like it, like peach cobbler or something. Maybe a some kind of cobbler though. Maybe it's not peach, but I think it's peach. Boy, that smells good. So that's relevant, and it's spelled R L V N T, and I assume that's relevant. Uh, backstop. 
and I have no idea what's the name of the juice and what's the name of the company, but I'll research it and I'll list it in the drop, drop box below. So there goes another one. This one is, ooh, oh, traditional eggnogs by Baked Vapes. And I bet this is a seasonal one because it's eggnog. Now, I don't really care to drink eggnog most of the time. Um, oh, this smells good. This smells a little like drinking eggnog while you're eating pumpkin pie. You can definitely smell the pumpkin spices in it. But it doesn't smell spicy. It smells nice and creamy. That's going to be a good one, I bet. And that's Baked Vapes Traditional Eggnog. And this one is 6 milligrams. This one is 6 milligrams. And this one is also 6 milligrams because my preference, you have a range, and I did the 3 to 6, the extra low. So, what's next? No, oh, I can't read this one because it's got plastic all the way around it. That doesn't say Vix. No, Nix. <laughs> I can't tell what the hell this says. I better take this crap off so I can tell you what the hell it says. Because I don't think it's Vicks Vapor Rub. I ain't vaping that, let me tell you. Ooh, this is Nix. Does that say Nix Blissful Bruise? And this is Swag. Oh, wow. That one smells chocolatey. That one's definitely going to, in a full tank. And this is Vaperitif. And this one is, I have no idea what that says. What the hell? How am I supposed to read that? S small dream? Smell? Sm oh, no, that says milligrams. <laughs> okay, that's... That's not the name of it. I don't know what this one is. I can't read that. The letters are too close together. I don't know. But I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the drop box. But let's sniff it. Ooh, that one's got some citrus in it. it smells like some orange. Mango. That's what that smells like. It's a very fruity vape. Definitely got some mango and papaya or one or the other in there. Yum! And the last one is Victory Liquid. And this one is Pole Position. Oh, hi. I used to go to the drag races all the time. I know what Pole Position is. It's also a term my husband uses on occasion when we all go there. <laughs> I overshare. Sorry. Oh, that smells good. That smells like a, a citrusy, creamy kind of a vape. What does that smell like? What is that? What is that? What is that? That's some kind of citrus is like orange and... Oh, man, that smells good. It smells like citruses and a creamy, like like strawberries and oranges in an ice cream or something. That's what that smells like. Initially, that's what it smells like. I'll probably think of some other definition later. So that was my Zample Box unboxing. And I'll be coming back and probably talking about a few of these. Um, all right, and I'll be doing a, a review soon on my Phantom with my UFO V2 tank on there. I love this from Mig Sigs. Love, love, love this unit. Um, so I'll be doing a review on this soon, too. Mm. But in the meantime, that was my sample box unboxing. Um, I'm going to come back and do my craft vapors. Is that what it is? Vapor. Craft vapory unboxing. And I'm going to show you what I got from uh, uh, the Drip Club as well. So that's going to be coming up. Mm. It's got Imperial Milk by Drip Tonic in it. Love that stuff. Woo! Love it. All right, so that's it, and I will see you soon. Peace. There is no tobacco in my house at all. No, there's none. Um, I can't guarantee there isn't some old herb or something in here. <laughs> I 
Because <laughs> back in the day, I used to torch one or two, so, but there's no tobacco at all.